Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's bright and early. Mind, body, and soul. Daily discipline. This is how we get through. I just got done with a pretty good visit. I'd say an excellent visit with my parents, my mother and her husband, my stepfather. I haven't seen either of them in about three years it's because of all the bullshit with the virus and all that and in particularly because my mom got cancer during the covid virus and uh, she couldn't have anybody visit even if i did go up there i'd only be able to look through the fucking window because they were all afraid of anybody infecting her and it was very stressful because she was going through chemo and radiation and i wasn't able to be there to be helpful even if it was just moral support and we did talk a lot on the phone and everything and i was able to help coach her through some of those hard times and she's grateful about that but I have a close connection with the family and it was nice seeing them so if they're watching thanks for coming down to visit me I want to get into today's topic and talk about Buddhism and first I want to start off with a quote that I wrote down so let's just get into it this is an old 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 Buddhist saying or quote the foolish reject what they see, not what they think. The wise reject what they think, not what they see. There's lots of people that they won't believe what they see. It's interesting. They could see a video, they don't believe it. They could see a photo, they won't believe it. They could see something happen right before their eyes and they won't believe it. Some people don't believe anything. They, they have such extreme trust issues that they're terrified of life. They, they don't believe a thing out of fear of being manipulated, harmed, scammed, robbed, cheated, hurt, whatever. This is the wounded bird who is still alive, trying to figure out how to survive. This is the, the, the bunny rabbit in the forest full of wolves, just dashing from bush to bush. Because, you know, a wise person realizes that what we think, what you think, is all just mind chatter. That's just a distraction. What you think isn't solid. What you think isn't empirical. What you think isn't reality. What you think most likely is fantasy. You have to see the world for what it is. We have to see people for what they are. We have to see ourselves for what they are. We have to see the path that we walk on for what it is. You don't know which way the path is going to turn around the corner or what's around there. You just have to follow it and, and, and see for yourself. We can have a conversation about what we think is going to be there. And some people can get so lost in their thoughts that they create anxiety for themselves or depressions for themselves. We can self-sabotage, be our own worst enemies. I think the curse of man is that we think so much. When look at dogs, I often envy animals, how they just kind of sit there and seem like airheaded fools and they're just so happy, so content. We're just sitting here thinking away, plotting and scheming on the future, becoming more and more demented and afraid. We have to see the world for what it is in order to be successful navigating it. A successful captain of a ship doesn't try to control the ocean. How could you? You just have to see what the conditions are and go with the flow. I mean, almost literally in that scenario. When we're trying to help others, we have to see reality. You know, if your kid comes up to you holding her arm and she says, I cut myself, 
you have to say, well, move your hand. I got to see it. Let me see it. You have to see it. You can't just listen to what they say. You can say, it's really bad. It's really bad. Okay, <laughs> let me see it. It's interesting how the fool rejects what they see and embraces what they think. The fool is always right. The fool will tell you how the world is. I've grown up with this my whole life. The fool's trying to tell me how the world is. And it's usually some local yokel, go nowhere, do nothing motherfucker that's never left the block, never left his side of town. And he's gonna say, Sky, let me tell you how the world works. <laughs> I grew up with older men trying to tell me that shit. And it was always some twisted, weird bullshit that they came up with in their, in their head. It wasn't reality. And, the, and you learn as you get older that none of that shit that these motherfuckers were telling me is true. They were all just wounded birds and scared little bunny rabbits. Pussies. Foolish people who reject what they see and are lost in their own heads will always try to bring others down with them. They're infected with a disease, a disease of fear, a disease of outrage as a response. Anger is a response to fear. A scared animal will get pushed into a corner and then lash out with anger as a last ditch effort. There's so many weak people walking around, lost in their own thoughts, angry and afraid, outraged, and going through a roller coaster of emotions. Simply because they They can't see what really is. They're stuck with that filter on their eyes, that, that delusion that they've created. You know, the wise person knows how to go with the flow and it's about not leaning, about being standing up straight. Because when you start to lean towards something, you can go off balance. So you can still have a successful life full of abundance. You can still reach your goals and have goals. But on the way to your goals, if you paddle too hard, you can drown. If you try to force the currents to go in a certain way, you will lose that battle every time. A successful sailor knows how to Go with the flow. If you reject what you see, but not what you think, when you watch the news, you will live in a fantasy world and see a world of pain and a world of fear, a world that just constantly makes you angry, a world full of people that are degenerate and awful, a dangerous world that you can barely survive in. You give up all your power. You become a weak little helpless animal. When you see the world for what it is, if you're watching the news, if you're observing a scene, without putting your intentions on it, without leaning towards any intention, without leaning towards any outcome, without trying to control it or force it. You raise to a more powerful position. A successful general can make the right battle plan only by seeing the reality of the situation on the ground. We have to know what's there. Don't tell me what you think is gonna happen. I don't care what you think. I just wanna know what is. There's an interconnected, an interconnectedness of life. Life becomes easier 
when you give up your your control over it when you stop trying to force yourself upon it life can feel really hard and the more that we are lost in our thoughts trying to make sense of it and stand upon these beliefs that we think are well it's like we make these statements about this is the way it is you know people that say shit like that they want to tell you how, the, how things are it's like then you've already started to lean towards the wrong intentions you've already started to try to control the waters rather than to flow with them it's all food for thought thanks for watching